Ma'am? We can start now, right? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, it's all it's already five. Yeah. Syaira and Asia. Okay. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hi, hello sisters. I'm Alisa. Waalaikumsalam. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm Alisa here. I want to share a little bit about my experience in using Canva because some of the sisters in the group talking about it and yeah i think that's it's a nice enough way to keep inspiring and sharing each other so i decided to create a session that the topic the theme is how to diy your ebook design in canva so uh this sister never heard about Canva before? Is no one uh, never heard about it? Um, yes, I've heard, I've heard of it. Yeah. Okay, already, okay. So this is uh, the, this. for today's session, we have, we will cover this, why creating an ebook and some of ebook ideas, examples of an ebook and how to make an ebook, the creating, oh, and usable resources and Q and A. Interesting thing about the recreating session, the recreating. This uh, this is the ebook design from not a ebook design, just a PDF, PDF downloadable PDF from Sister uh, Doctor Sarah. She created a challenge. And I try to recreate it with her permission. So you will have like this. This is the cover of her challenge. And we try to recreate the cover using Canva. You see, this is uh, the template I choose in, it, uh, in Canva. If you see, there's a different uh, emotion, different style of the cover. And I try to recreate it to this, see, the title is change. Oh, you can see the difference here, okay. Uh, the upper side is the template and the bottom side is the uh, I2, uh, the recreating, the recreation version. See, now, why ebook? Or I can say it's a, it's not really an ebook, it's a PDF download. The compilation of information that you want to share to others. Why we use ebook? Uh, number one is to gather the information or the experience of what we already know about a specific topic. And with that, with that ebook, we can position ourselves as an expert or go to person in that industry or niche. An ebook or PDF download can also be a lead magnet tools. I mean, to to make people, oh yeah, to make people. Sorry, <laughs> my English is <laughs> uh, to make people come to our come to our what offering or product or website, something like that. And create an ebook or PDF download is more simple to create maybe then a course, a complete course, or any other uh, digital product. And it's easy to transfer or download. Like, uh, it's with, uh, with only a link, you can transfer the file. So this way. And ebook ideas, uh, number one, you can put your personal tips on a topic based on your own experience, learning, or observation. Number two, your list of favorite tools or resources or product or service. And number three, workbook or action checklist to a specific tools. I will give the example of these three later. So, 
this one, you can see if I click here, it can bring us to the to the this one. This is the challenge, also challenge from Sister Salam Sud Suduk. Or I don't know. I, I I don't remember the name. This is the challenge about uh, solah solat prayer, a solat challenge. Meanings of dua in prayer. You can see this is like a PDF download. Like this. Uh, we also can put an Arabic text in Canva. Like this. Like this. All the way to the end. Like this. Uh, the resource written here. And the uh, second. Second. Let's see here. The second example. Where, where, where? Sorry, sorry. Okay. This is like the uh, checklist. This is the example of checklist. I want to make it smaller. Like this. Super checklist. It's a product for. Okay, like this. And the third one. Where is it? Where is it? The third one. This. This one, the third one. Okay, this is a PDF download also from Bree Designs. Bree Design is an Instagram coach. You see, a uh, she gave the five tips on how to grow on Instagram. A simple tips like four, three, two, six, seven, seven tips, and that's all. Seven tips, and then the a picture of herself like this. This can be the lead magnet for your offering or product or service. This is the three example of ebook or a PDF. A download then next okay. now how to make an ebook in Canva first thing first you have to choose the book size as you can see before we have different uh, size of ebook for example the the meanings of the in prayer is like a presentation slide yeah and then this one the same this one after you choose the size choose a template and create from the blank space in Canva and then three move your text from your notes into the design and then save it as PDF and share it you can give it away or you can sell it now I I want to give you an um, the demo how to create this from the example of Dr. Sarah before. Where's Dr. Sarah? Dr. Sarah, nah, this one. I want to uh, try to uh, do demo. First, we open Canva. The Canva version that I use, it's actually the desktop app. You know, like I download the app not from the website so you can open canva from the website like this website canva.com or you download the app and open it as a as an app in your computer like this okay first thing first i hear okay first thing first this is the home page of canva what you have to do first is uh, type ebook, ebook cover here, and choose any of the cover, just anything like random. It's okay, it's random. And after you choose why it's random, it's okay because in the left side of the Canva, you actually can find another 
thematic cover like this one is inspiration inspirational romance thriller creative photo or like this children so it's more fun like this so yeah in this we can we can see the the theme but when we go to the actual editor we can find the the theme here in the uh, left side okay uh, and then what is the next step a okay choose a template here and before here for the sister uh, dr sarah challenge i try to make three kinds of uh, cover design the first one here is more simple it's a uh, simple uh, consists of picture and text and the second one is more fun fun and colorful colorful and the third one it's a simple with a touch of color and illustration but we but i don't make an illustration i uh, I change it into a picture like this. So, where can I find a uh, cover like this? Actually, I go to here. I go to the, where is it? I think, I think, as I remember, I go to here, in inspiration, maybe? No, 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 no. I forget. I forget where I take it, but, yeah, this is the simple, and the second one I get it from the child, the child children books cover. This one, this one, and the third I get it from the recommendation. Yeah, for the recommendation here. Now. For the title, the important thing about working with templates is we don't have to change the layout. We don't have to change many elements of it. Just, just use it as it is. For example, for the picture, I can see photo here. And I, I tap uh, the art, search art. Hmm. The things about Canva photo, you can find the pro, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, pro written here. So it means you have to pay it. It's free. So you have to be aware. Is it pro or free? If it's free, you can put it here like this. Uh, you see the different color, the colors change like this you can click two two times what so here and the uh, where's the free again this way like this yeah. uh two you see actually this uh, the color change because it's filter in it in order to to uh, clear the, the filter, you tap known here, tap known, because the filter look dark for me. So I, I choose not to use the filter. And the text here, the title, just put it here, copy and paste, like this, like this. You can make it smaller. Okay, and then the name you can change to Dr. Sarah Farhin. Select all and copy. Select one and paste. You can put it in the bottom or you can uh, build up here and change the color if you want. Like this. Okay, this, this is the we create version and like this in this we actually only change the title like this 
and I'm gonna make it smaller. So, okay. Then for the name, we also copy paste it here. Sarah and okay, this one too. The first Sarah Farhan. Paste. Okay, and then this one, copy paste again. Here. Now, the uh, illustration, you, have, you can delete it, delete here, put it up, this one, and this one. I, I choose the text from the PDF for this, unlock the power of your minds through variety of art journal method. And then for the picture, you can use elements, elements, and go all the way to grids. grids. In grids, you can find uh, four pictures. If you want, or you can go with how many? This one, four picture here. Make it like this, like this. Like this and then put the image remember to use free if you don't have candle pro here here like this so this is the pre-creation version the of the ebook cover by dr sar for Okay, here I okay. This also we can also put the what is it? The hashtag here up. This is how you can create cover from Canva from the template. You can here you can use the uh, template. Okay, next, uh, next, the next presentation. Where is it? Canva, this one. Okay, after that, you, you choose a one and then copy. Actually, I make name. This one is the, the content of the ebook. I already made it here. So we can copy. We, uh, we select all the elements here, copy, and then go to the here, paste, paste. So this one, this is the cover, and this is the content, like this. And if it's finished, we can download, select file type, so this PDF standard, and then I download. So, it's actually the how we create the PDF in uh, Canva. Uh, actually, okay. Next, I want to present another one. Like this, okay. This is okay. No. Kind of a best practice or how you can how you can make the use of Canva for your PDF. Copy elements from other templates like what I uh, did before. I copy the cover to another page. You can do it like that. From one page to another, you just can uh, copy paste it. For example, if you see the template here that is really nice. For example. For uh, the flower here, you want to include the flower in your design. So you uh, choose this and you click the color or uh, the flower, copy it, copy uh, in your keyboard, command C or a control C, and in your actual ebook, you can. You can 
Paste it like this. Paste it like this. Okay, so if uh, there's an element that you like and it's free, you can copy paste it for your ebook. And next, use rules and position to make it neat and clean. For example, if you see here in my previous presentation, uh, this is the rulers. Actually, uh, you, we have to re uh, release it here in file and show rulers. If you can see it like this, choose file and show rules. So uh, it can show you rules. Rules is to make it to make your elements align like this. Uh, kind of a uh, best practice here. I get this one also. So I I I give it a ruler so it doesn't so it neat and clean like this. Now this is the function of the rules. How to uh, me? We can put here and just uh, dra uh, drag, drop it anywhere you want. Like this, on here, yeah, like this. It's a simple this or this to give you a uh, okay, yeah. nice, nice cut, nice clean cut in your design. And the second one. Eh, second one. Okay, and the position here. Position, you see? Position. Like this. If I see, if I use this one. Here, here, and here. Position, you can align left. This one. Align center. Center. Or center. Center. Or right. Make it right. Make it right like this. Where's the position? In ebook, you can see here. I make this one like this. This is the text. You can position it as center alignment or right alignment or uh, full alignment. Or left alignment like this. The best is this here, yeah, left alignment, so the so readers can easily read it. And then, okay, there it is. Go here. Put it back. Put it back. Okay. And then the third one is include link. What is it? Include link. You actually. Like what I did before, you can include link in your PDF in Canva. For example, like this, like this one. If you have a link, maybe uh, to your Instagram profile, profile, you can copy it. Copy. And in the button, for example, you have the button like this. Where is the button? Nah, like this. Look at the right upper side link here. You can actually copy paste it. Copy, paste, and apply. So anytime someone click it, it can direct them into a file, into the link the file here. So you can you can use it. Okay. And any questions so far? No? Chat? Ah, oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Afsa. If, uh, if, the, if it's no question, then we'll continue. Next is about the graphic design best practice. Uh, the best the best practice how to make your design uh, more appealing more interesting and easy to read number one make it visually consistent 
what I mean by being visually consistent is how you use color. Number one, use color, use font, use color and use font. For example, here you can see, yeah, we use the open source here. This one also open source. The open source, we can make it the open source. This open source. Semi bold, you can make it more bold, like this, bolder. And for the text, it's open source, like this. And use only for the maximum three font. Don't make more than three. For example, this is one, this is two. And this is, this, uh, in the cover, you can make it all the same font as this is anonymous pro and is pro and pro but with different size so the readers can see that uh, the pop information is the title here the more most important information is the title because it's bigger than anything else name description titles and the hashtag so uh, you have to be consistent in using color, uh, in using font if you want to make it easy easier to recognize like this or if you want you can make also this into a what anonymous term. okay like this and next oh yeah another one is color uh, this one is the font and another one is the color for example for example this one is yellow i choose yellow so for another page another page if we want to make the color of for, for the title we can make it this but if the color is not really show, you can add the shape shape here. This shape here, here. And then make it into uh, black maybe. Okay, like this. So the color is the same, it's consistent. Here is yellow, this one. And in another page, also we use yellow with the help of a black background. So the color will pop like this. It's easier to read than this. Okay, like this. Because number two, it's make it easy to read. Make it easy to read by choosing, uh, by the contrast, contrast between the background and the text, you have to have contrast. And you have to choose the font that is easy to read. For example, if we choose the handwriting for the body text like this, like this, imagine how hard it is to read it. You know, like this kind of font is hard to read so better for, for us to use another option maybe like corporate no. this one is more simple and easy to read like this like this then change it again into what so maybe words like this it's easier to read than the previous one. For the font. What is there a question? No. Okay. Make it easy to read and then keep it simple. Why? Because we don't want to put everything 
into the design. You just keep it uh, as it is. For example, this one is it's enough. It's, you don't have to put another elements like maybe like this here and there. Maybe we have to we want we want to have flower like this here. Okay, so we afraid that this will this will not clear enough for the reader to understand the cover. So we put it back, put it back here. So keep it simple. If you confuse, if you uh, don't know what to do, just follow the template here. Like this. Okay. Keep it simple. Make it visually consistent by choosing the font. Maximum of three uh, and color. Actually, for the color, if you see here, wait, if you see here in the more styles, you can have the like this the combination of color we can use for our design like this. What here? Here, you can see the color here. The yellow one, the green one, and the white one. Styles. Okay. Make it easy consistent by the font and the color. Make it easy to read by choosing the font that is easy to read and create the hierarchy. So the title is the bigger one. Like this title is the bigger one. And then this description, make it smaller. And then the writer and the hashtag, make it even smaller. And then keep it simple. Uh, just don't put everything in the design. Keep it clean and simple. So people will easy to read. And, 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 ah, okay, this one. Uh, for the ebook, uh, you have option to sell it, right? For example, you can sell your ebook in the website called Gumroad. You can go here, Gumroad. Where do I have Gumroad? Okay. Gumroad here. Okay, uh, I want to give you an example how we can put our product. For example, we uh, we sign up first, and then we create we choose product, and then we create new product, start selling. If you want to sell right away, pre-order. If you want to sell before real estate or membership, then okay, ebook, ebook. Uh, how to how to Okay. Just the price, maybe how many? Ten dollars. Next, customize. And here, you can put the description of your ebook here and the cover and call to action summary about what you uh, what the buyer get from the ebook at details and then put your content your ebook directly here you can upload your files or you can uh, redirect into a url so after the buyer make payment they will redirect into the file automatically pricing question and then uh, publish or save change. Publish. Sorry, because uh, it's not ready yet. So I just uh, this one. If you see, this is my example of Gumroad account page. Here you can see Organic Studio, and then 
In the bottom, you can see, where is it? Hmm. Free resource page is by at the chart. And then check out at like this. I see it from what? Uh, the Instagram. Justin B, I see. Justin, this one. Gumroad, okay, bundle like this. He create an ebook store like this. I want this. You can put it here. This is the example of the product you sell in Gumboat. Then another uh, resource. If you want to learn more about the book, I also learned from this uh, creatorials here. Create this one as uh, she talk about ebook and hashtag and instagram actually like this one learn exactly how i created an ebook in one day i share it already in the in the what in the whatsapp group she mentioned about Canva too. I designed the ebook cover and pages in Canva. And next, where to find the free image? For example, like this, uh, like uh, Dr. Sarah here in Dr. Sarah, you can see that uh, the picture here, I believe it's from Pinterest, is it? I believe, but I don't know where, where is the where is it from? But uh, you can use other option for the image. Actually, here you can see canva.photo at canva.com slash photos slash free. You can you can find uh, free photos to choose to in your ebook or inside Canva. Inside Canva. You see more use pixels here or use pixabay pixabay all of the picture here is free so if you type art it can come out like this and all of it is free but if you search from the photos here you can find not only free, but also the pro version. Like this, it's pro, it's pro. So it, it can be pro or free, but if you just pick a bay, it's all free. Okay, that's all. Jazakillah Khairan. Uh, if you want to learn more about the graphic, the book design, you can WhatsApp me. Of this is Instagram and what what else? Okay, is there any question so far? Hi, is there anyone? Hi, Manisa. Manisa, Sister Nisa. Is there any question or comment or anything? Yes, my. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, this is interesting. Where do you write your documents? Please explain. Okay. Because I try to recreate a Dr. Sarah uh, PDF and I can't find the text version, so I re retype it in here. See? In like this here you if you have if you open the editor in the top side you can uh, you can put it here but first actually i i type it in the notes in the notes like this in notion 
This is my Notion, my Notion page. I, I write it here and then I copy. So actually you can uh, write it in anywhere in your notes. It can be Notion, it can be your Microsoft Word or, uh, or your, or Google Keeps. I recommend Google Keeps because I like this. It, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it, is it uh, what the question mean? <laughs> I don't, where do you write the documents? Yeah, you can write it here in Google, Google Keep and copy paste and then put, put in the, sorry, put in the, where is it? Put it here, the notes feature in Canva and then click save like this. I can show you here, click add notes, copy, save, copy, paste and save. You can do it like, like that. And then another question. Wait, wait, I want to show you. I want to download. Mm, another question. Can I upload an ebook into my website to sell? Uh, I don't know. Website? <laughs> because I don't know about website, but maybe Sister Nisa will help. But yes, I believe. It depends on the website itself, I think. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can have a link. We can put a link or embedded the code. Put it in a link into our document in Drive. You see like what I did before? Uh, you copy the link and you, you go to your Drive, Google Drive, like this, and then, uh, and then share. Sorry, and then share here, share, and then copy and paste the link like this. And then when people click the link, they can redirect to the file. Sorry. Another question, is there any question? Makes sense, any tips, guidelines? Thank you, you're welcome. Any tips, guidelines? What does it mean, any tips, guidelines? Is it clear enough? Is it make sense, my Explanation so far. Uh, if we see here, we can see uh, from the ebook the color. Uh, I said before that we can use the consistent color. Use the color over and over again like this. So it has an orange and the blue and white uh, based on the logo of the surface. So in the ebook, they choose blue color, orange color, all over the page, like this. Blue and orange, blue and orange like this. All the way to the end. So it has a consistent look and people easy to digest, to remember. That's one. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Oh, one more. One more thing I want to show. If you can see here in uh, this design, you can see the logo here. The logo is square with white elements around the logo. It's quite up okay. there. We can actually make the 
white white is disappear if we have for example here in canva logo here yeah logo in this picture is white background but we can just make it perfect and remove the white thing white thing the white background so it will go like this like this for example this one type c so the logo will stand itself and we can change the background here like this alhamdulillah like this but the in canva this background remover is a pro uh, feature the alternative we can go to we can go to the website called remove background where is it here remove background remove background and we can uh, remove the background from here for example i have logo logo any logo it's okay uh, here for example uh, copy link copy image address paste it here and then like this and then the white background is disappear and then you can download it you see the white elements that disappear or we can upload our own image upload image and then like this where is it this one upload and we remove the white element of the logo like this ah watermark great watermark can we create a watermark form of our logo in canva yes the step is like like this actually you can you can make the square size here square size and then oh but you have to be pro pro version because when you download you see this uh, uh, option transparent background here now if we choose transparent background the background will not include in the downloadable picture but it's option only for the pro so the alternative is you can save it as a png like this you can save it page one page one here and then go to previous website the this one remove background upload image is wait not finished yet save uh, no, go, no, go, no, go, go. Okay. We can go here and we upload our logo, this KFC, and then we make the yeah, we make the background disappear, the white thing disappear. And that's how you can create watermark for your logo. Okay. Any other question? Welcome. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, remember, remove the background. So I just uh, copy it. Copy it and put it here. How to remove the background? Okay, any other question or is it enough? Uh, that's all I think what I can share today's session. If you have any question left, please, uh, please 
ask in the group or maybe we can have uh, you can start create your own ebook and then we can discuss it in the group how to make it how to make it uh, better visually maybe i can suggest one of two three i want one of two one of two three two. yes this is ah thank you nazia thank you alhamdulillah uh, so alhamdulillah so uh, dr sarah asked me to give like maybe a suggestion or something like that for the this one and we can uh, short a short review about this so for the cover here you can see like i said before the logo the white background it can be erased and then we put it maybe here in the up right corner and the uh, title you can make bigger and center bigger and in the center so it will be here and then don't forget to put the writer's name or the initiator or the founder yeah like this maybe this uh, dr sarah fahrin here and the uh, title in the center make it big make it pop make it the center of the information this one and so we can make it like this therapeutic art life okay i make the nice one. this one i can make bigger like this make it in three paragraph and then for the where is it now for this we can we can make the like this the point the apa the bullet bullet point or like this whoosh sorry sorry like this bullet or number for example but in here you can see you can see ah actually quite uh, it's good but maybe what we can make it Mm, smaller this uh, the numbering also i think uh, it's a nice more nice if we put number instead of uh, this number because like uh, old old style i don't know and then the challenge mm. uh, i don't know uh the life coaching session here the information about life coaching you can put it is it better to put it in front of the book or the pdf download or after the title you actually give the information about the challenge first and then the art life coaching in the end or i don't know but yeah for the image here we also can can make it smaller because we don't have to um do all over the place in the image we can make it smaller yeah i think that's in the background if you can make it one color is it it's maybe it's uh, it's more nice okay Thank you. Uh, Alhamdulillah, thank you for our, your time. Thank you, we learn together. Hopefully we can continue our discussion in the WhatsApp group. You can upload eBooks to your website server, create a page, there's like the link. Ah, Sister Nisa is question answer your question sister saira you can upload ebooks to your website server create a page to display its download link and encrypt the download folder uh, i don't understand the language but it's okay 
Mm, you can use any plugins which provide ebook delivery from the website. So it's actually a lot of way to transfer to present your ebook to your audience. So yeah, you can use Gumroad. You can use the your website if you have any. You can just direct share like on the email, on the chat, something like that. Okay. Thank you. Mm, it's Alhamdulillah, it's so nice I'm meeting you here. Uh, yeah, Alhamdulillah. And? Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> with, I, I end the session with Alhamdulillah. Uh, it, with Dua Akhir Majlis, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Eh, wait, 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 wait. Wow, 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 my screen is, my screen is all over the place. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I just, uh, can share it? Like this, it's better. Can anyone show uh, their face for the for the session, please? Sister Nisa, my name. Sister Nazia, Saira. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, share screen, okay, one, two, three. One, two, sorry. Okay. Another one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, see you again, inshallah, in the group. See you, just like a low cat sister. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Alaikum assalam. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik ashadu wa la ilaha illa. Astaghfirullah. I forgot the dua. Thank you, thank you.